Hi traders, welcome to Daily Forex Analysis by Trade with Asim and Sajjad. Uh, let's have a look at the economic calendar. Tomorrow we have some important news events. Uh, at 1.30 GMT we have RBA meeting minutes for Australian dollar. It's a very important event and we can expect 50 to 100 pips move. Just be very careful if you have any open trades in Australian pairs. Then at 8.15 GMT we have uh, ECB President Draghi's speech. Another very important event, we can expect huge volatility during this hour. Then for other pairs, we have some medium impact news, I don't expect much volatility for that. Overall, uh, US dollar is going to be weaker tomorrow, so we can expect bigger rallies, Aussie dollar, uh, Euro dollar and Pound dollar. Let's move to dollar index. Dollar index uh, dropped today, we were expecting that it will go to 95.50 and above, but we saw a bigger drop. At the moment it looks much weaker, uh, for tomorrow I'm expecting it can further drop to 94.09. Let's see how it dropped. Here we can see on the 4 hour time frame it started dropping down and at the moment it's uh, on a smaller support. Uh, it can bounce back or may go for a smaller correction but overall it's much weak and we can expect further drop for tomorrow. Even on the hourly time frame it looks much weak. Right here we can see how it dropped and at the moment though it's going for a smaller correction but it's supposed to drop further. Uh, we move to Euro dollar. Euro dollar performed very well. Uh, it looked much weaker and it was supposed to drop further but it recovered the losses at the moment it's on 1.1694 for tomorrow I'm looking at 1.1734 a strong resistance aid. If it can break this resistance level then it's uh, heading to 1.18 and much above. While if it couldn't break then it's supposed to drop back again to 1.1615 and below. Let's see how it looks on 4 hour and 1 hour time frames. It just uh, rallied all the way though here we saw some uh, weakness but then it recovered and, and at the moment it looks much stronger. It may go for a smaller correction and then we'll be heading to 1.1734. Let's check it on hourly time frame. And on the hourly time frame too it looks much strong. I don't see any weakness. It can simply uh, continue for the uptrend. And this time I'm expecting it can break the resistance level and go for the higher target. We move to pound dollar. Pound dollar was the best performing pair today. Since the market has opened, it uh, just went up all the way. At the moment, it looks much stronger and it's heading to 1.3210, a very strong resistance level. And after breaking this uh, resistance level, it's heading to 1.33 and much above. We will see it on 4 hour and 1 hour time frames. After making a smaller correction, it went up all the way. At the moment, it can go sideways. The market is just about to close but it's supposed to continue to the further uptrend. I'm expecting tomorrow in Asian session and UK session it's supposed to go much higher. Let's see how it's doing on the one hour time frame. This morning when it opened, it opened strong and went up all the way. We didn't see any weakness all the day and, and at the moment it's in a much control position. Let's move to dollar cat. Dollar cat was supposed to go higher. I was expecting it may uh, touch 1.3077. It did try but then it uh, dropped and at the moment it looks like it's going nowhere. Even tomorrow I'm expecting it may go sideways but if it uh, drops it's uh, going to drop to 1.2969 and below. On the other hand if it uh, starts going up then it's supposed to uh, touch 1.3077. Let's check it on 4 hour and 1 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame you can see uh, it's just moving in a sideways channel. It hasn't found any direction so far so we will wait for tomorrow if it breaks this uh, resistance level then it's supposed to drop or otherwise it can start going up. We move to hourly time frame. On the hourly time frame we can see it dropped this morning uh, then it recovered it went up all the way at this level it looked much better but then it started dropping down again. At the moment it's on a support level we can expect it can again try to go up. If it couldn't uh, hold this level then it's supposed to drop to 1.2969. We move to gold from here. Although gold looks much better at the moment but it's still in the sideways channel. It needs to break this channel and for tomorrow I'm looking at 1211. I'm hoping this time it can rally to 1211 and much above. We will see how it uh, goes tomorrow. Let's see how it looks on the 4 hour time frame. This morning when it opened it started dropping down. 
at this level it seemed like it's dropping to 1187 but then it bounced back and at the moment it looks much better for tomorrow i'm expecting that it will again retest 1211 and above we'll also see uh, how it looks on hourly time frame on the hourly time frame it's uh, going for a correction and and in the asian session i'm expecting it will continue to the uptrend and will reach 1211 and above let's move to nasdaq 100 today mostly us stocks and indices dropped and so nasdaq 100 also followed at the moment it looks much weaker uh, for tomorrow i'm expecting it can further drop to 7424 we will see if it can hold this support level if it breaks this support then it's heading to 7302 and much below we will see how it dropped today on four hour and one hour time frames it tried to go up then went sideways for many hours but then in the evening we saw this bigger drop we will see how it recovers from here we can expect a bounce back or a bigger correction from here if it doesn't then it's supposed to drop to 7424 let's see how it looks on the hourly time frame on the hourly time frame we can see after making this uh, sideways movement it dropped badly from here it went for a correction but now it, the price got rejected so tomorrow it may just continue to drop further to 7424 on the other hand it can uh, bounce back from 7462 level and may try to reach uh, 7564 and above so guys that's all for today thank you very much for watching i will see you with a new video until then take care and bye